kids thoroughly enjoyed the ceremony. Um, best part was meeting Princess Anne. You know, she's done this for well 16 years, and her, her support is priceless. It's quite amazing to see someone of her you know, esteem turning up every year and doing this, um, and she she never fails. Uh, same with David Attenborough. You know, every time he's in town or he's not filming, he he attends. So it's obviously a real prestigious evening. I absolutely loved the ceremony, and I thought that it was one of the best I've ever been to and I have to say that I have been to every single one of these events. I always enjoy the ceremony. It's a fantastic and really inspiring event and I never get tired of hearing about the incredible conservationists that Whitley supports. This year I feel the Whitley Awards have grown up quite a bit and I thought the uh, candidates were exceptional and very heartfelt as they always are. Hugely, really. And I, the ceremony was incredibly inspiring and very, very humbling to see these activists who have just made such a big difference amongst their communities. The people that were here this evening um, were really inspiring. Um, it's given me a different uh, outlook, I think, on the future for the environment. So uh, I'm feeling more optimistic as a result of coming here this evening. The event's great, the speeches are fabulous, the, the uh, prize winners and, uh, and their projects are, are really worthwhile. I think my favourite moment was actually seeing Dino winning the Gold Award because I think that someone who looks after insects is incredibly important and the fact that uh, these creatures are so small and we just take them so for granted and that he won't let that happen uh, is great and the more that we support him the better as far as I'm concerned. I think whenever the candidates talk about why they got involved in wildlife conservation, I mean, as we heard, a number of them were doctors or, or um, architects, and their stories, their personal stories of why they became wildlife conservationists, I always find that very moving. Probably my favorite thing was uh, seeing, talking to the people afterwards and being very humbled by what they've dedicated their lives to. Princess Anne's speech, um, I've probably witnessed about five or six of them so far and um, she's extremely eloquent, eloquent uh, always direct to the point, always puts the necessity for, for, for the awards across um, and, and she, she's very genuine in, in her feelings towards the foundation. My favourite moment this year was probably um, hearing about the work that Dino is continuing to do. I'm really passionate about sustainable food and farming and to hear that he's engaging farmers across Kenya with the importance of pollinators and supporting them to use fewer pesticides and more natural methods of controlling crop pests, particularly given the health impacts and this habit of dumping illegal pesticides in Africa. So his work continues to be incredibly inspiring. My favourite moments of tonight. Um, I really enjoyed hearing Arno speak about um, armadillos in South America. Um, and I thought that he was able to translate his, his passion with, with such kind of uh, panache and he was very, very inspirational. Um, but I think actually when uh, Dino won the Whitley Gold Awards um, for his work with insects and particularly bees, uh, that was the thing that probably m made me feel uh, happiest because um, I, the bee situation and pollination is a big issue for uh, the source of food in the world and so uh, I was very, very encouraged to, to, to see that um, and Her Royal Highness also gave a very interesting talk as well and I was encouraged to hear the support she gave. I, I think it was these great insights into the, the stories of people's lives who had become conservationists, sometimes by accident, sometimes by passion, but often just for one remarkable moment. And that recognition that sort of conservation is a journey, not a destination. And we're all actually on that journey. I support it, support it simply because it's one of the most inspiring evenings of the year. When you come across people that have really stepped up and made a difference and seen, no matter how small it is, and now you see that difference having a ripple around the world. I support the Whitley Fund for Nature because I've always been uh, fascinated with wildlife since uh, I was a child. Uh, and I think now it's it got to the stage where it's absolutely critical that we realise what's going on with the, within the planet and how we're 
dramatically destroying it. I've been fascinated in the organisation since two of my friends started working for them and it's a real delight to continue to come and help with this event every year because as I've said it's it's so valuable and inspiring these people are really making things happen and it's a delight to be involved. I support the Whitney Fund for Nature because it's uh, such uh, a good charity in terms of direct action. Uh, over the years the support that it's given to individuals uh, uh, and to making sure that those individuals are thriving and supporting them in, con in a continued way is just exemplary in terms of a charity and the way that they link people who do sponsor even the wider friends to actually what's going on on the ground and making sure that people understand what's going on on the ground is just a, a really good example of how to run a charity. When you give to a larger charity you're never quite sure where the money's going, whether well, this is completely transparent where the money's going and yeah you feel it feels almost like a sort of little family. Edward in particular is incredibly dedicated, committed and very personal with all of his award winners and I think that's what sets the Whitley Awards apart. It's his personal compassion for all of wildlife that needs to be saved and it's really his own personal story as well that uh, brings this whole network of young conservation leaders together. I think that the main achievements I see are to do with conservation on the ground and actually attracting the attention of local communities. Obviously in conservation it's incredibly important that local communities are involved in the conservation of whether it's a, a, a habitat or whether it's a particular uh, species and to uh, look after those communities and be able to communicate with them in order to get those communities to really help out with uh, particular endangered species is essential and the fact that the awards recognize that and encourage it and are encouraging the people to, to get involved in that way uh, is part of the power of what's going on here, I think. I think tonight they were at a crucial part, all of them in their careers. They weren't particularly senior and advanced, and I feel that at this point in their career, the award and all of the wonderful publicity with the Princess Royal as well, will really make an impact for that next stage in their career. Coming to understand how efficient the Whitley Wildlife Fund is um, in terms of when money is donated, um, it seems to flow in a very efficient manner directly to the places where it's needed. So um, actually the award winners and the programs that they have put into place um, are so well and so efficiently funded by the awards um, that from talking to the award winners it, it sounds like it's a massive enabler um, for further conservation. Every day they go out there and they're, they're facing very complicated situations. They have to educate local people about uh, why, for instance, they can't chop down the forest. Uh, they need to uh, deal with the politics of the situation. They need to uh, you know, they're, they're constantly under threat and yet they continuously, uh, yeah, they're, they're very heroic in their approach and I think that's an inspiration for, for all of us. The Whitney Awards really focus on people who are making stuff happen on the ground in their communities. Uh, it's incredibly valuable, I think, to have such a small organisation who can support that direct work on the ground and really making things happen. The thing that impressed me most was the fact that from the grassroots, from no matter where they came from, they've followed their passion and they've gone and they've made a difference and now they're making a difference to all our lives. We're talking about them and they'll be part of the Whitley Award network and that will carry on having ripples across the generations and across the continents.